Malak is going to fight me. Run away! Run away! Run away! Actually, that might not be a good choice right now because, yeah. He'll jump at you. And he has a shit ton of HP, which this is the reason why I told you to save all of the medical supplies you can. Because this battle is worthy of being called a final battle. Oh my god. How... Is, do I have one HP? I have two! Two out of 260! Alright, well, I've got a wall in between us. Oh, and of course. Yes. No, I'm gonna put up my uh, really, really pro shield. And I'm gonna have to put it up like several thousand times. Yeah, maybe that wasn't a good idea. One would think that the Dark Lord of the Sith might be resistant to most force powers. One would think that that's at least a possibility. Alright, phase one over, and... You continue to amaze me, Revan. If only you had been the one to uncover the true power of the Starforge, you might have become truly invincible. But you were a fool. All you saw was an enormous factory. All you ever imagined was an infinite fleet rolling forth to crush the Republic. You are blind, Revan. Blind and stupid. Stupid is the best you can do? Come on, you've got to be able to insult me better than that. Is there, is there some point to this stupid head? The Starforge is more than just a space station. In some ways, it is like a living creature. Except for the whole sentience thing. It hungers, and it can feed on the dark side that is within all of us. Look around you, Revan. See the bodies? You should recognize them from the Academy. These are Jedi who fell when I attacked Dantooine. For all intents and purposes, dead. Except for one difference. Oh my god, they have my hair! I have not let them become one with the Force. Instead, I have brought them here. The Star Forge corrupts what remains of their power and transfers the dark taint to me. You really have no empathy, do you, buddy? You cannot beat me, Revan. Not here on the Star Forge. Not when I can draw upon the power of all these Jedi. And once you are beaten, I will do the same to you. You will be trapped in a terrible existence between life and death. Your power feeding me as I conquer the galaxy. Somehow I don't think so. But this is the part where you actually should be running away. In fact, let me cast Burst of Speed. It, let me actually cast it. There we go. Alright, now what do you need to do? You can use Kill, you can use Force Storm, Force Wave... You have... The point is you have offensive Force Powers that it allows you to use. Use Force Storm if you've got it. And kill all these guys you can. Because whenever he runs out... Whenever he runs out of health... And you have to target each specific one. Whenever he runs out of... Whenever he runs low on health, he will run over to these things, and he will drain their health into him. So this is a number one priority. This is the really hard part of the battle. Because, as you can see, you will run out of force powers. So I'm going to try and lure him over here, where I've already killed them. And fight him a little bit. And hopefully, I will regain some of my force powers. Oh, shit. Get over there, get over there, get over there! Come on, Kale. Wait a minute. I thought I took care of that one. Oh, that was scripted. Alright. So, don't cast force speed. 
try and take as many hits as you can. Because you cast Force Speed, you will be using up critical force powers that you need in order to disable these health depots, as you saw. Um, good time for another life support pack. And no, I'm not kidding, this is the end of the game. So you don't need to save any of your healing stuff, and I believe everything is disabled now. I, I believe that was the last of them. So now it's down to a good old-fashioned sword fight between you and the Dark Lord of the Sith. Oh no, don't use a regular med pack. We're past that point. Let's use a... Oh, well, I guess you can use it. Basically, give him all you got. And I say this is worthy of a final battle, because your first time through, you generally don't realize that you can disable those things. Or you think that killing them might be kind of bad. Ooh. Oh, dear. I'm not doing too well. No, I'm really not doing too well. Look at that. Look at that. Yeah. This is what it amounts to. Now, fortunately, he has no way to heal once you've um, disabled all these guys. You know, he's done with the healing now. So, basically, what you want to do is try and hit and run the best you can. This is a nice place... Actually, if you go through the game specializing in blasters, which I have successfully beaten the game as a blaster user, this is a really nice place to use blasters, because you can just hit him and run, hit him and run. It's my moral tactic, if you remember way back when I was doing the dueling ring on Taurus. Oh god, oh god, oh god, oh god. I'm not going to take any chances here. Um, if you're light side and you don't have, like, Force Storm, all I can say is... Well, actually, I think you can use Throw Lightsaber on them. So you, if you're light side, you better have Throw Lightsaber, or else you don't have any way to get rid of his healing, and it makes the boss fight that much tougher. Fortunately, he heals, like, automatically. He really wastes his healing. So, it's not all that terrible. But anyway, there you go. That's the final battle of the game. Im <laughs> Impossible. I, I cannot be beaten. I am the Dark Lord of the Sith. The, the power of the light will always be stronger than the dark side. Still... <laughs> Still spouting the wisdom of the Jedi, I see. Maybe there is more truth in their code than I ever believed. I... I cannot help but wonder, Revan, what would have happened had our positions been reversed? What if fate had decreed I would be captured by the Jedi? Could I return to the light as you did? <laughs> If you had not led me down the dark path in the first place, what destiny would I have found? I'm sorry that I chose that I started you on this path, but you chose to continue down it. I suppose, I suppose you speak the truth. I alone must accept responsibility for my fate. I wanted to be master of the Sith and ruler of the galaxy. But that destiny was not mine, Revan. <laughs> it might have been yours, perhaps. But never mine. And in the end, as the darkness takes me, I am nothing.
Dogs, this is not the time to be barking. There you are. What happened? Darth Malak is dead. It's over. Finally. That's wonderful news. There's no time to celebrate just yet. I was able to use my battle meditation to allow the Republic to break through the Sith fleet. The capital ships are in bombardment range. And that means we all have to get out of here right now before this entire complex comes down around our ears. Everyone else is already on the ship. Let's move. 